Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I actually wanted to do a video today talking about the pick line that I got placed when I was in the hospital a few weeks ago. Uh, I got admitted for a bowel obstruction and I'm going to be getting a bowel resection surgery in a few weeks. Um, instead of doing a normal diet, I'm actually on full liquids, but most of my calories are coming from this TPN bag. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little video showing you guys how I start every day. So the first thing that I do is I take out my TPN bag a few hours before we start the IV. The next thing that we do is after washing our hands for at least 20 seconds, we set up the supplies on this little mat over here. We have some saline and later in the day when I disconnect myself, we use heparin. So what are you doing now? Gonna get the air at the top of the uh, little plunger thing without actually opening it. Remember, if your nurse tells you to do anything different than from on these TikToks, listen to your nurse instead. But yeah, this is pretty important. Gotta make sure I don't get an air bubble in my pick line. Yeah, as our nurse explained it, if you forget one, it's fine. If you forget all of them, uh, you're trying to claim life insurance. All right, so next up is setting up the tubing. So we have the pump over here. I have my bag of nutrition for the day, which I'll be infusing for over the course of 14 hours. So that's going to be fun. And we have the tubing back there. And once it's all put together, it's going to go in this bag that I could bring with me on my daily adventures. So let's get started. Okay. So, there are two ways to, well, three ways to drain out the bag. Two of them use gravity, and one of them uses the little machine. And what you want to do is you want to prime the bag so that the liquid flows through the tubing that we have over here. So, if we look at that, our little uh, oh, no. Mr. IV stand, one way you can do it is to hook the bag up to that IV stand and let gravity prime it out. Uh, but... That thing uh, falls apart all the time. That's why it's so short looking right now. So we're going to strap the bag in here and then just prime it directly from inside this bag that we hold it in. First thing you're gonna wanna do is clamp the tube. Uh, your tube might have a different looking clamp, but you don't want liquid to flow through before you're ready because it'll make a mess and get everywhere. Once you have the tube ready, what you need to do is take this end and spike it into the bag over here. And that's accomplished in two steps. The first step is to remove this little pop-off thing from the bag. And the second step, take this off, and you just jam it in there and like sort of twist clockwise. And you wanna make sure that you're not about to poke a hole in the side of the bag or something. Because then your entire bag would be destroyed and you'd have to get another one for the day. Yeah, so as you can see, I sort of hold it up a little bit to make sure it goes straight in there. And then now we have it in. We're gonna prime our TPN bag. Which really just means to let the liquid flow through the tube until everything looks satisfactory. So without taking the cap off, we're just going to undo this clamp. And you'll see here the liquid is flowing through the Piping is a little bit wider now. There we go. Okay, and once the liquid is all through, you can just clamp it back up. Again, all without releasing the cap yet. You do that only at the end because you want it to stay clean. Okay. And the blue one goes in the blue hole. Make sure the tube is tucked here. You just push it down, snap it shut. There you go. All right, we got our tubing set up with the pump so we can prime our tubing a little bit more before we set it up with my IV. Yep. As I mentioned earlier, there are three ways to prime it. Really just two, using gravity and using the machine, and we're going to use the machine now. The machine does a pretty good job. 
Yep, so it beeps three times and then says system okay. You gotta check to see if the battery is full. Not all machines might be the same, but the battery must always be full when you start. And then for ours, we just press yes twice because we're just using the RX that's already programmed in here. Don't worry, they're not going to make you write your own pump program. That would be insane. Yep, and I get 14 hours of my infusion. Joy. Okay, so we're going to prime it. That just means releasing the clamp down here and then holding down the prime button. Okay, hit a little more. Yep, I can see the air bubbles. So, before we connect, I am going to have to get my line flushed with saline, and then we can start the infusion. All right, and now we're going to flush the line and hook it up to the machine. So first things first, we need two sanitary wipes. You want to use a wipe basically every time you interact with the line. So we're taking this cap off now and we're going to wipe it. And the thing that our nurses told us was that you have to wipe for at least 15 seconds. You can go longer, but you can't go shorter. All right, here we go, saline. Remember, you gotta get the air out the top first, which we've already done earlier. Now you remove the cap moments before you connect them. So you gotta feel a little pressure. You gotta push them together and then righty tighty. And when you push the saline, you don't just like press it in smoothly. You gotta do sort of a jabbing motion. That's what they told us to do. And it's because the saline is supposed to be flushing stuff out of the tubes. So at the end of the day, that would be whatever uh, IV fluid is left in there. And then right now it's just whatever was in there from last night. So we clear things out. And now that we've interacted with this, we have to wipe it again. That's what our other wipe is for. And now after we flush the pick line, we can finally connect the two. So now, only now, do we remove the cap from the IV bag. And again, push them together. You feel a little resistance, just like with the saline, and then righty tighty. And boom, it's in. Now the clamp can be released, and we go over to the machine. The pump. Full power. Go into the program, repeating the prescription, because it's the same one every day. For now. They said in some cases your uh, dosage can change in the middle of your TPN, so they might reprogram it at that point. And then it says run to start. That's all we do. Now I'm good for the next 14 hours. So instead of eating solid food, this is pretty much my diet while I am waiting for my surgery. And this is to help my stomach rest up a little bit before my bowel resection surgery.